Red Dreaded Entertainment, what is up? My name is Akasad. Hey, some Bruce, DC Song. And... Oh. Callie with Portland Callie. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot, and I forgot you were here, actually, for some reason. Then we put this rope around you and... And do what, exactly? All right, so we're, here we have a little segment here called Ask aka Sun. And earlier, uh, before DC Sun arrived, I asked you guys to submit some questions. And one of them is one I really do want to answer. And it's been uh, kind of bothering me for a few weeks, so I'm glad you guys did indeed ask this, is do people cheat more in Tokyo than in other places, in other big cities like Los Angeles or um, what have you not. You know, D uh, DC Sun, you are from Brooklyn, right? Yes. Originally from Brooklyn. I'm from LA. Kelly, you as well. LA, yeah. Orange County. Okay. Oh, the OC, right? And, and if it helps Domino's Japan, it's really tasty. <laughs> oh my God. Just putting that out there. DC Sun's got like a side <laughs> deal going on here, like promotion and such. He needs one. Probably but I guess, I guess that's a good question because the thing I have seen ever since coming back to Tokyo this year, was in Fukuoka for four years, is that more and more I have just seen people be more open about the fact of getting into extramarital affairs or cheating on their boyfriend or cheating on their girlfriend. They're just more open about it. Even yesterday I was talking with one of my co-workers who is about to get married really soon. She's a female. And her male student of a long time just happened to ask, oh, did you break up with your boyfriend yet? She's like, no, I'm about to get married. Oh, please break up with your boyfriend. Uh, I want to have a chance. I want to take you out for dinner. Ooh. And she's like, what the hell are you talking about? No, no, this lesson is over. He's like, oh, I'm going to come back next week. I'm going to keep on trying. He never showed up. Oh. Other students I have had have indeed. They're married. Like, there's a good amount of my students are married, but yet they still look for other opportunities because they're in a paper marriage mm. so to speak uh, I guess there's a lot of different views we can look at it as if you don't love the person anymore is it okay to cheat or what have you not but for me personally I've only seen this a lot more in Tokyo compared to in LA thoughts on that well I'm gonna speak first I feel like in Japan where marriages are such a crucial part of society like it's really the next phase for people to achieve so it's like if you're 25 and you're not married it's like all of a sudden like you're doomed for life <laughs> um, so for those people who who quickly get into a marriage and 10 years later they nah. realize they're not happy with this person and they just married because for marriage sake um, yeah they are going to look for reasons no, th th to... that's a good point no yeah. I, I, I'm gonna have so to read maybe because I'm married to you yeah. right yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to reiterate that is that like the the idea of just following the system you graduate mm -hmm. around 2021 20, or so and so many people I see in Japan getting married before they're 25 yes. Yes. only because they feel like it's what they need to do yes. yeah uh, that forces them into that situation mm -hmm. of like damn maybe I jumped on the gun too early mm -hmm. I haven't had time to really experience many partners, mm -hmm. so I don't really know what love really was, or if yes. really love equals, like, for some people, love doesn't necessarily mean a good marriage, basically, mm -hmm. you know, if you really love somebody, someone, that doesn't really always mean you can be married to them, you just might be able to love them very strongly for that point in time, where a marriage partner is more like a business arrangement, mm -hmm. it works a little bit better, yes, so yes. to speak, I suppose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lost in deep thought here right now. Well, well, like, both please, are making, DC Sun, yeah. making very good points, and it's basically around the same thing that I would say. Here in Japan, people are pressured to do a lot of different things based on their age mm -hmm. um, via culture. Yes. Whether it be getting married or getting a job yes. with a, a big company, going to a specific university, yes. because outside of that's what their parents did because of their age and their group. Because of their sex, you know, because you're a female, you should go to these top three schools. Otherwise, no one will respect you kind of thing. That's something that happens here quite often. On the topic of relationships, you know, I've seen people around me where they've dated someone and whether they cheated or not, what I thought, what I've seen and found very common 
is lack of communication. Mm. And to alleviate mm. just a bit, you'll have a couple where everything seems to be okay, and then just out of the blue, drop right off the radar. Mm. It's like, well, what happened? And it's like the person doesn't contact the other, or like she doesn't contact him. And it's like, okay, well, maybe he did something wrong, is what we usually lead to. And then you find out, well, actually, he hadn't done anything wrong. She just lost interest. Mm. Right. And when she lost interest, she lost interest. I so agree with all you. communication stops. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. It's one of those where it's not so much of blocking the phone number or an email address, not n anything like that. It's more of the lines of, well, you just don't, you know, respond. Mm. Kind of like um, uh, the old TV show that was on HBO, <sighs> Entourage. Oh, okay. Entourage pulled the Vinny. It was like just didn't contact me back. Well, I think and that's maybe might be the key point here in terms nice of uh, 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 Tokyo like versus Los Angeles mm. is the fact that in LA, in America, people mm. do tend to communicate a mm. lot more. Yeah. People are a little more open with their feelings, whereas Japan, mm -hmm. you're not really supposed to say what's on your mind mm. so no. often. You're always supposed no. to be thinking about the other person. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you get into this little corner yes. of your own emotions, especially if you're a foreigner in an international relationship, you generally need to bite your tongue a lot or bite your lip a lot and not mm. say things that is going to upset someone else and being open is not necessarily a good thing so i could see where a lot of these people would rather get caught cheating or doing something bad than just being look I don't know if we can work on this mm. because uh, trying to work on a broken marriage or work on a broken relationship is it's more work. Is more, more not even more work, but is admitting mm. that there was a problem to begin with. Yeah. You know, mm. and I think a lot of Japanese relationships don't even want to admit that mm. there's something wrong. Mm. I used to have a when I was in a relationship with this one girl in Los Angeles, but she's from Fukuoka. Um, we were talking mm -hmm. about mental health and such, and yeah. she, she just told me that in Japan, people don't have mental problems yep. because people admitting mm -hmm. are going to mental, uh, getting mental counseling admits that there's something wrong with yep. them, yep. and that's yeah, more shame to admit than anything else. So they just pass over it and say, mm -hmm. I don't have a problem, there's nothing mm -hmm. wrong, and just go through life with these problems. So And there's companies that will actually give you time off because you're stressed, mm, mm, mm. which is weird. Right. Like you have time off because you're stressed. Well, isn't that what vacation days are for? Oh. Or sick right. days, whatever. Yeah. But it's very different from the U.S. Here, it's actual time block where my job is stressing me out so much, I feel like I'm getting sick. Mm -hmm. So you get a, a pass from your doctor that says you're stressed. You take it to your um, superior, and they're like, okay, well, you need some time off. And your time off can be anywhere between one week to like six months, mm. nine months, mm. um, some, depending on the company, partial pay or no pay, but it's just time off. And that's not something that we, that's common in the US. Side to, thing, to my knowledge. Side thing, do you guys think friends mm. cheat each other more in Tokyo in terms of the trust issues? Like having a, it's having a, a like, this was a side question somebody asked hmm. about is making friends in Tokyo or in Japan harder than in your own country or something like that. Do you think having a good mm. friend in Tokyo or Japan is more mm. difficult? I would say definitely yes. And I would say that, um, especially the last couple of uh, recent situations mm. at work and such, uh, trusting people was a lot harder out here because I thought at one point, that everything was so face value you could trust mm. people but come to find out everybody's kind of in it for their own whereas i think in los angeles i would just assume from the beginning everybody is in it for their own yeah. and not really looking after you or so well said well yeah. said yeah here it is the two face um and i don't mean someone's being two faced but the two face um or two sides of the coin when it comes to that where you have people that seem to be very, very close. Like, oh, yeah, we just met today. We don't really know each other when a serious conversation happens that they don't agree with. Or you have a situation where they've been together for years, and then when it comes time to do something, you say, oh, well, I can't follow that. 
mm. and it's kind of weird. I will say making friends in Japan can be easy, but what I find for non-Japanese people, they find it easier in Kansai than they do in Tokyo. Mm. Mm. Interesting. And reasoning behind that is that people in Kansai are so much of being more open, open to to meeting new people. Mm. I've had I can't tell you how many times I've had some you know, really small uh, old lady or elderly lady come up to me and talk to me and say, where are you from? It's like, Duh -duh. are you hungry? Aww. Do you want to eat? And it's Aww. like, I'm, I'm good. You know, I have a place to stay. I'm not homeless or anything. Oh, no. I'm not talking about that. I don't want to eat alone. <laughs> and it's like, oh, oh, okay. It's like, why don't you come eat? And I can introduce you to a new place. You, you're not from here. Then, you know, if you like, you can tell your friends. And that happens more in Kansai then yeah, Tokyo. Yeah, I, I agree. You can't find a place and ask someone directions. You're right. Someone will walk you to True. where it is if True. it's within a reasonable amount of distance as opposed to what they'll do here in Tokyo. And I would say for that barrier for mm -hmm. Tokyo is just that there's just so many more people in Tokyo. Yeah, so it's And it's more of a barrier put up to uh, for defense because I mm -hmm. think the whole English complex comes from the fact that they don't want to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Right. Where in Kansai, that being Kyoto and Osaka area, yeah. southern mm -hmm. Japan, is yeah. just, it's like, whatever, let's just, yeah. I don't care if I'm speaking fucked up English or not, <laughs> I'm just going to say it because it's fucking funny, like that, you know, like they're more uh, open to just mm. make the mistake, basically, mm. and roll with it, like, yes. I can't fucking speak English, I don't care, let's go, <laughs> opposed to just like, no, 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 I don't want to make a mistake type of thing, uh -huh. pride, that, nail on the head, because that's, that's yes. so spot on, because yes. in Downside, it's like, I made a mistake, oh, okay, so you want to go? Yeah, exactly. Where until you say, oh, see, oh, I'm so sorry, man, to say it's like yeah. it's okay, it's not a big deal. We're here to learn. Have you heard yeah, me yeah. speak in Japanese? Exactly. Yeah, that's a good all question. the time. Yeah. You're like, oh no, your Japanese is so good. If a Japanese person tells you, especially a taxi driver, oh, your Japanese is really good, they mean the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very true. Very true for those. But I don't mean that as a racist comment or no, but or it's very true. Right. Everybody has. I actually had. A uh, manager from an old company I was working with, they told me that about the guy that was sitting in front of us. He came from England. His Japanese, I thought, was impeccable. And the taxi driver told him that, and then the manager's like, yeah, means his Japanese actually isn't that good. Wow. So, well, so if anybody out here tells you your Japanese is good, it's not. It's, it's just oh, something I they see. say. I... For many years, I thought the same thing. I was yeah. like, wow, so many people said my Japanese is really good. And then I'm like, wow, I fucking <laughs> suck. And just like so. the A comment, A, that actually means they're not interested. And and that's the thing. Like, I feel like in Japan in general, they don't give compliments. So if they give a compliment, it's kind of like suspicious. True. Yeah. Suspicious, unless it's of the opposite sex. Oh, okay. Because it's of the opposite sex, that means that person is comfortable enough to tell you, one, and that they may actually be interested in you, mm. which is actually rare until recent years. That's interesting. Before right. they didn't do that. So wrapping up here, do we think ginger snaps are great? Yes. <laughs> I got those. For do we us. think from IKEA or IKEA probably, right? Mm. Yeah. Eh? No? Yeah. No. 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 Call of D. Okay. Call All right. Do yeah. you guys IKEA. think people cheat okay. more in Tokyo than in LA? No, I think it's the same. Really? I think it's the same. It's just but the way open. that the way that people handle it. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. In in Japan, I think they're both more open and much more secretive about it. Yeah. There's people that I've worked with in an office setting that were seeing each other for years. Nobody clue. knew. Mm. No clue. And then later, it's like, oh yeah, we're gonna get married. It's like, wait, I thought you were married to the old boy down there. It's like, yeah, we divorced like two years ago. It's like, what? That is so... No clue. That is so weird. It's completely the opposite with me. Yeah. Like, there's so many uh, teachers or students mm. or just people around me I know that are just really open. Like, just the last week I was just talking to somebody um, who's a Japanese teacher. And she's, but she's Japanese. And she was like, oh, you know what? To be honest, I had an affair a few years ago. And I'm like, what? Like they'll just they're so open about yeah. saying like that they'll do it or there's no I feel like there's less shame mm. in Tokyo to admit. And I don't know why I don't know if it has because something to do with the Japanese. Japanese. Yeah. So that's what I thought. If it's to another Japanese right. person, it usually right. doesn't happen. If it does happen, it's with someone who literally doesn't care. Mm. And right. spent most of their time 
outside. Maybe that's what it is then. Maybe that's what it is. I have a friend that um, she basically does like uh, casting work. Super nice. She is so excited she just had her third divorce. And I'm like, okay, I, you know, you went through some rough times. Like, oh, no, it was a great time. Just, just, I don't care. I just got bored and I figured I'd be better off going somewhere else and so would he. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's a really mature approach. She goes, oh, no, I'm hoping to hit seven before I die. It's like, what? <laughs> well, you're joking, right? And it's like, actually, she's not. She's a unique person. But what I liked about the conversation it showed me contrast of a Japanese person that lives outside the country mm -hmm. as opposed to inside the country. She's very open-minded about how she feels about life and is very direct about telling you, I like this, I don't like this. Because mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a problem we have as non-Japanese people here when you're getting in a relationship with someone and the person doesn't express how they think or feel mm -hmm. uh, openly. Yes. Because they're thinking yes. about your feeling. It's not a negative thing. But sometimes you miss that, hey, just tell me, yeah, I don't, I'm not interested. All right. All right, cool. No problem. You need that every now and then. Mm -hmm. Got it. So for those Japanese people that may be watching that are interested in dating someone that's not Japanese, always be upfront and honest about how you think and feel because they'll appreciate you more for it. Well said. Okay, well said. Da, DC Sun, make sure you check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. The World of Cali. <laughs> I will leave a link of her, <laughs> her channel in the I, description I below. Sorry. If you have any questions and furthermore want to get educated on some other stuff, just remember you can always ask Akasa. Peace, guys.